One of the very first series I ever started on the channel was called 5 Things We Want in the Elder Scrolls 6, and a few of you guys have asked me to do the exact same kind of thing, but with Fallout 5, or whatever the next instalment of Fallout will be, but for the sake of this series and the future videos that go into this series, we are just going to call it Fallout 5. So today, since we have no other Fallout news to discuss, I figured that we would start it. So here it is, 5 Things We Want to See in Fallout 5. Now we know that we are going to get traits and backgrounds in Starfield, which is very exciting. A lot of people have expressed their happiness for traits and backgrounds, so I wouldn't be surprised if Bethesda add traits and backgrounds to all of their future games, including Fallout 5. Of course, no matter what, we are likely starting as a Vault Dweller, so what traits could we actually see? Well, there is a bunch. Mechanic, which allows you to maybe craft with less materials. The background could say that you are the vault's mechanic, for example, and often fix generators and things like that. A security guard trait slash background could be another, which gives you better aim, or maybe just a resistance to non-automatic weapons. There's honestly a whole lot you could do. I would really love to see this be added into Fallout 5. It's such a small and simple thing that would really affect the game in such a positive way, in my opinion. It did really irritate me that in Fallout 4 you were either a lawyer or an ex-soldier, and it would have just been nice if we could choose a job for Nora or Nate as a kind of background or trait system. Now if you watched my You Need to Play Classic Fallout in 2022 video, you will know exactly what I mean by this. I want a darker, grittier and bleaker setting for the next Fallout game. No more bright trees and green grass like we got in this Fallout game. Ugh. See, I want Bethesda to go back to the classic Fallout and look at how dark the stories, atmosphere, characters, towns, and even creatures were. Fallout 1 was downright depressing. Some of the stories in that game made me actually have to pause for a moment to take it all in, and I want to get that feeling again when I play Fallout 5. No more bright trees or green grass. Show me how messed up a post-nuclear setting can really be, just like Fallout 1 did. Now look, I know that the Minutemen aren't exactly everyone's favourite faction, mostly because of Preston. But when you break it down, the Minutemen are a great faction. Going out of their way to help settlers while asking for nothing in return, they're truly, in my opinion, the best chance for mankind in the Fallout universe. I just think that they were executed really poorly. I would love Fallout 5 to be set around 50 to 100 years after Fallout 4, and you learn that the Minutemen are now a massive military-like faction, not just protecting the Commonwealth, but protecting the country. They could even have a East Coast and West Coast faction, which in law Nate built up. I mean, that would just be amazing to see in my opinion, especially when you consider that the Minutemen ending of Fallout 4 is very likely the canon ending anyway. If the Minutemen do make a return, I'd like to be able to refuse settlement building though. Now look, I loved settlement building in Fallout 4. I did an entire playthrough where I built up every single Commonwealth and DLC settlement. And I had an absolute blast with it, it's one of my best memories of Fallout 4, but some people didn't enjoy it, that's not really a secret. So if the Minutemen return in Fallout 5, maybe their new general asks, hey, would you be interested in helping us build settlements since you're a part of our faction now? And you can say no, and then they never ask you again, and you don't have to do it. However, if you change your mind, you simply return to the general, and pick a dialogue option that says, I changed my mind, I want to help build settlements, and then you can. And look, Fallout 4 didn't force you to build settlements, anyway, despite what some people may think, you have to do it once throughout the entire game, so no, they did not force you to do it. But I think as long as Bethesda made it even more clear that you can join the Minutemen and not have to build for them, they would be a welcomed addition to Fallout 5. Now look, I will be honest with you, I'm one of the few people who didn't mind the voice protagonist in Fallout 4, if you've subscribed to me for a long time, you will already know that, but I will admit, Bethesda games work a lot better without it. The lack of dialogue options in Fallout 4 was absolutely awful. It's even worse when you consider that Bethesda didn't even let us see exactly what we were saying, which of course just ended up leading to us regretting our dialogue choices and so on, so I really really want a silent protagonist in Fallout 5. I also quickly want to point out that it does look like Bethesda are sticking with the silent protagonist in their future games anyway. Starfield is confirmed to have a silent protagonist and they're definitely not going to give The Elder Scrolls 6 a voice protagonist due to the amount of races we can play, so there's that. 
Now one of my biggest problems with Fallout 4 was the lack of unique weapons and armor. Now look, I love the legendary system, but I still want to find unique weapons that have a unique look. I hated how all legendaries looked exactly the same as regular weapons or armor, and they didn't even really have unique names, it was just paralyzing 10mm pistol for example. It wasn't actually a unique name like the Deliverer. I would love Fallout 5 to give us more things like the Deliverer or the Gragnog Ags for example. You know I want to walk around exploring the wasteland and find a unique weapon that you can only find in that one location. A weapon that is the only version of it in the game. Long story short I want more one of a kind looking armors and weapons. Anyway guys, that is going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please do drop it a like. It really helps out smaller channels like myself more than you can imagine. And of course, if you are new around here and you want to stay up to date on Fallout 5 news, leaks, discussions, and plenty of other Fallout related content, consider subscribing because we cover it all over here. Also, if you haven't joined our Discord yet, you definitely should. We have plenty of Fallout, Starfield, and Elder Scrolls discussions over there, and I mean plenty. You can also suggest ideas for videos to me, vent about life, share your memes, and so much more. We have fun, so consider joining us. Anyway, with that said, thank you all so much for watching, and I really hope to see you in the next one.